So a lot of the photographs that I use in pages are photographs that I've actually taken myself, but Pixabay has excellent photos and they are royalty free. And what that means is that you can use them and you don't have to pay for them. So if you have an idea of what you would like in the background, you can search for it. And quite often if you are using photographs, they are going to be a little uh, dark for the background of a page. So we do have to lighten them. They actually have some pretty awesome waterfall photos. So let me see if I can find one <laughs> that I would like to use in my page. And one that actually needs lightning. Oh, I kind of like that. So you'll see it says free download. And what's really important, especially if you're gonna lighten it, it needs to say uh, free for commercial use, no attribution required. That means that you don't have to pay for it and you can use it. This is not commercial use, this is personal use. But if you ever wanted to use this professionally, you could, that's what it's telling you. So I'm gonna go ahead and download. And you'll notice you have lots of different sizes. I'm gonna pick this size that is the default. It's pretty good sized. I will be able to expand that image and cover the entire background. And it's not going to really lose any of its re resolution. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. I am not a robot. And I'm gonna make sure it goes into my CIT 180 and media folder. And this is my background three. And as I mentioned, that is a little bit dark. So we'll go to Lunapic. And we're gonna upload this. And I gotta go out to CIT 180 and open up media. And I'm not going to mess around with optimizing this because this is a background image. But what I do wanna do is make it a little bit lighter. Because right now it's gonna be dark. If I was to try to put text on this, I wouldn't really be able to see it. Uh, there are little CSS tricks you can do, but we're not going to learn those until next week. <laughs> so uh, for right now, we are going to just make this a little bit lighter. And to do that, we're going to adjust the transparency. So we're going to go up to adjust. And let's see. Alpha transparency is what we want. And we're gonna move the slider a little bit towards transparent. And it's telling you that the little checkerboard underneath is transparency. So you really don't want it all the way over here because uh, it's gonna make your image invisible. And then what's the point of having it? So it is, your slider is gonna be more to the left here. But depending on how dark it is, you know, that's going to depend on how much transparency you need. Because you definitely want to be able to see the text that's sitting on, on top of the graphic. So I'm going to apply this. And then I'm going to go to File and Save Image. And... I'm gonna save this. 
Now, because this has transparency, uh, it has made it a ping file. And we're going to keep that. And so we're going to call this background. I'll just call it background four. That way I'm going to keep my background three in case I want to use it. And the transparent one is background four. So at this point, I've got several background images to work with. And the next video is going to show you how to add that to your page.